Okay, this is a video on how multi-point fuel injection works on a Fiat Punto 1.2. Here are the injectors. There are four of them. One, two, three, four. There are four injectors, one for each cylinder. The injectors work Vital information from the ECU. This box here, the electrical control unit. That is fed with information from sensors located around the engine, like this one here, the airflow sensor. This supplies the ECU with the correct Im information of the amount of air that is running through the inlet manifold so that it can adjust the fuel accordingly to different engine conditions like weather, things like that the best fuel air, fuel air, air fuel ratio is 14.7 to 1 another important sensor is the crankshaft positioning sensor that's it there, where my thumb is that runs off an inductive feed it sends the, an inductive pulse to the ECU so then it then the ECU knows where the crankshaft is it's the crankshaft positioning sensor so obviously if it knows where the crankshaft is it knows where the pistons are Okay, so basically how these injectors work is they inject atomized mist into the combustion chamber at the correct time. How it knows this is the computer is fed the information by the sensors I explained about just a minute ago. So basically what happens is, as the piston moves down, the inlet valve opens. The injector injects the, the atom injects the fuel into the combustion chamber. It's atomized. Piston moves down, creates a vacuum, it's sucked into the combustion chamber. The inlet valve then closes. The piston goes up, compresses the fuel. It's then ignited by the spark plug. Well, I'll explain about this in another video. How the spark plug works. Anyway, it is then ignited. That then, uh, that then, they then take place. There is then a controlled explosion that takes place in the combustion chamber, which pushes the piston down. The piston then comes back up. The exhaust valve opens, which is behind that port there, pushing the exhaust gases out. With all that movement, up and down motion of the piston and the con rod. It then turns a crankshaft, which is down there, which turns into a round and round motion. It turns it through the gearbox, through the final drive in the gearbox, through all the gears, then through the drive shafts and onto the wheels and onto the road. Sorry if this video is a bit amateur. Thanks for watching.